Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wakar and Wakar. And I say Shalom. In the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Bahashem. In the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lash Wakadash, the whole time. And I say uh, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wakar and Wakar once more. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson of uh, Isaiah 11, verse 10 through verse 16. That's going to be the title of the sit-down lesson. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah 11, verse 10, and it reads, it says, In the day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for the ensign of the people, to it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. Verse 11. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord Yahweh shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, or the Israelites. It says, which shall be a left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Paphos and from Cush and from Elam and from Sharnar and Hamath from the islands of the sea. And these are the areas where the Israelites are still scattered at, especially the uh, remnant that the Heavenly Father is going to come back the second time to redeem his people from all these areas that he has scattered them you know isaiah 11 verse 12 and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of israel and gather together the dispersed of judah from the four corners of the globe isaiah 11 verse 13 the envy also of ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of judah shall be cut off Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Right, so they're not going to envy or vex one another no more from the northern kingdom of Jew, uh, northern kingdom of the Ephraimites and the southern kingdom of the Judites. So they're not going to envy or uh, vex one another no more. So they're going to come back together as one big family, come back together as that one stick, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. They're going to come back together as a one nation of the children of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel. Northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, they're going to come back together. Uh, Isaiah 11, verse 14. It says, But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines towards the west, and they shall spoil them of the east together. And they shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab, and the children of Ammon shall obey them. The prophet Isaiah 11, verse 15. And the Lord Yahweh shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea. And with his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river, and shall smite it the seven screams, and make it go over the dry shore. Prophet Isaiah 11 verse 16. And there shall be a remnant highway for the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, like as it was to Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, the prophet Isaiah 11 verse 10 through verse 16. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Bakar Badash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. And until next time, I will say Shalom.